Hi everyone, welcome to week two. Uh, great meeting most of you last week, a couple of you I'm still meeting this week. Looking forward to those conversations. So hopefully we all did two things last week. We did the single hardest thing in the whole class, for most of us, uh, our goals. So we whittled down from, well, I kind of want to do fiber art and also photography and also ceramics and also graphic design to I'm looking for a portfolio that can launch my illustration career. I'm looking for a portfolio that can get me started with an animation studio. Uh, I'm looking for a portfolio that I can use to start teaching fiber art workshops. It could be anything, but from hi, I do everything to this is my mission. Uh, you know, for the time being, you're allowed to change in the future, but something that you can focus on which lets the world know that you're not a I do everything, which is kind of an I do nothing person, but rather that you have a vision and a mission and you are committed to whatever you choose to be committed to. Uh, it helps the world and almost more importantly, it helps you instead of where should I be today? It's like, this is my focus. So hopefully you did that last week. Um, if not, today's the day. And then hopefully also last week you started some research. So you looked up some artists who do the kind of work that you want to do. You check out their websites. You emailed them, hopefully half a dozen, and said, hey, I'm a student at Long Beach State. You love students, right? Because you were one at some point. Um, can we meet up? Can I buy you a cup of coffee, chat for 15 minutes, and learn about your fantastic career and the beautiful work that you do? Um, could be a face-to-face -face meetup at Starbucks or someplace like that. Could be a Zoom cup of coffee, whatever works for you or wherever they're located. But I think if you email half a dozen artists, a minimum of one is going to say, yeah, I'd be happy to talk to you. And you can begin to get some information that could be useful and also begin to build out your network. So research about artists and then research about the type of places that you'd like to develop connections with. So it could be an art gallery that you might like to exhibit at or collectors that you might like to have interested in your work, or it could be um, you know, anybody who would hire you. It could be like a big aerospace firm here in Southern California that has, is so big they have their own in-house graphic design staff, or it could be um, you know, a, an advertising agency, a graphic design studio, et cetera, or individual clients who you'd like to bring into your freelance work. So whether you're gallery focused or commercial focused or want to do you know, ceramics workshops or whatever you want, but hopefully last week you set some goals for yourself, for your portfolio and your career. You looked up some artists and emailed six and asked if they would talk to you and then looked up some galleries or companies or clients or uh, collectors that might be relevant. So hopefully you did all that and post, you know, you can write paragraphs or post links or post content on, there's different topics on our Discord channel. So hop over there and share what you've done so far. Again, catch up if not. And then this week, week two, we want to extend both of those. So now that we've set our goals, let's turn that into uh, a menu and a site map. And then now that we've started that research, let's turn that into a viewer profile. So in addition to the three things that hopefully you did last week or you can catch up on this week, uh, two new things for week two is uh, a menu slash sitemap and a viewer profile. So what are those? Uh, some of you who I talk to know, uh, you know, my vision of kind of the generally good website. Again, they don't all have to look identical. You can design anything you want, but a generally good website is going to have your name uh, in, the, in the corner. Don't be shy. If there's any place to shout your name big, it is right here on your portfolio. So it's Glenn Zuckman documentary photography or whatever it might be. And then a menu that doesn't use a meaningless word like portfolio, work, projects. Because what words like that, portfolio, work, projects, what those words in your menu mean is, I'm not going to tell you what I focus on right now. You're going to have to click this, go to another page, and then I'll finally tell you. Why don't you just tell me right up front on your menu um, what you do. So if you're a graphic designer, you might say identity system 
<laughs> I'm going right to left in my brain, but for your on screen, I'll go this way, okay. So your menu might be, you might have a home button, home, identity systems, branding, packaging, typography, posters, you know, two, three, four choices so that even before I click, you've already given me an outline, a site map of what your portfolio is, of what your website is, of what your career is, what your services are. When you don't list something that somebody wants, that's fine. It doesn't matter how many people quickly realize you're not what they want and they hit the back button. That's no problem at all. I mean, the world is filled with people who don't need your services. What matters is that those curators, sports bar owners, HR directors, those people who are looking for you, that when they land on that homepage, you tell them right away that you do what they're looking for, what they're interested in. You make the art that they want to show in their gallery. You do the kind of work that their design shop or other organization can use. So um, we'll ultimately implement this on your Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, et cetera, website. But for now, you could just take your tablet or a pencil and a piece of paper and just make a really quick homepage sketch. Glenn Zuckman, documentary photography, have a menu with a few choices. And then underneath your menu, you might have one big image or a series of small images, but something that I can see what your work looks like before I have to click any buttons or scroll, it's just immediately there for me. So that's uh, your site map that you'll create, uh, your menu, your homepage layout. And again, you could just take a minute with a pencil and scribble out on a piece of paper, and then take a picture of that with your phone or your camera and drop that on Discord so we can see what each other is thinking about. So sitemap and then viewer profile. So viewer profile is a sample viewer of your website. So when people are designing commercial sites, they often create fictitious viewer profiles like, oh, our typical viewer would be, you know, young, urban, female, male, age this, age that, uh, and then kind of think about them. Uh, you know, you could talk about their career, their hobbies, etc. So we have a sense of them. Um, so often fictitious for designing commercial websites, but for us, you, it might be better actually to make a real world person. So when you do that research or did that research on who uh, you'd like to connect with, HR directors, curators, um, clients, etc., pick one of those human beings, do a little bit of research on them, email them or just search, search the web and find out about them and write a viewer profile about Jane Smith who, um, you know, this is what she does at this agency and, you know, this is where she went to school and this is her weekend hobbies. So now you have a picture of Jane Smith and now as we go forward and you photograph your work, photograph yourself, write about your work, write about yourself, that's still to come. But when we do those things and then we ultimately put them on a website, you know, is it, is it a black page with white type? Is it a white page with black type? Is one better? Well, it depends. Who are you speaking to? What kind of experience you want to give this person? And what does your Jane Smith uh, kind of respond to? What's their aesthetic? So two things for this, so the three things for last week and then the two new things this week are a menu slash site map slash quick sketch of your homepage and write up a viewer profile. And again, you can write some info about this person uh, and maybe grab a photo and slap it on Discord. We'll share with each other and go forth and prosper. Um, shout on Discord if I can help with anything. Happy to dialogue one-to-one uh, -one or one-to-many or you to each other on Discord. And if you want to meet up, you know, we may have already met up last week or maybe this week, but I'm happy to jump on Zoom anytime and have additional conversations with anyone. Just let me know. Um, have a great week. Let me know whatever questions you have.